with meteorologist Michael Coates. <laughs> All right, welcome to winter. We did hit the solstice earlier today, and we're actually heading into one of the longest nights of the year because, yeah, for uh, tonight, well, it is actually the longest night of the year. We are going to be uh, seeing, again, some windy conditions on the move, a cold front's on the way, and, of course, everybody's been talking about the conjunction of the two planets, and we're starting to see it right now. Uh, it's hard to see here on the camera. <laughs> it doesn't do it justice, of course, but got some clouds here to the west of the southwest, but that's it. Uh, again, two planets, uh, Jupiter and Saturn, coming closer together, and uh, it looks like maybe just a little bit larger planet. I don't think it's going to be the big Bethlehem star that everyone's talking about or you've seen online with social media, but yeah, you're going to see a brighter, bigger planet out there here for tonight and tomorrow. Taking a look at Viper radar, we have nothing really showing up in terms of showers. It's dry outside, just that cloud cover to the west. That's the leading edge of our next storm system, which is making an approach from the northwest with the engine driving that storm here right along the Canadian border. And what you have here is you have strong southwesterly flow ahead of that cold front, and that's why it was so warm outside. It's the warm before the storm. And you get a cold front like that, we warm up into the 40s and 50s around the eastern Idaho Snake River Plain, and then you start to see all that snow melt. There is a chance of snow coming in here for Tuesday. However, this is not going to be a major snowstorm. This is mostly going to be a wind storm with some good mountain snow. The area of low pressure, the center of low pressure for tomorrow is going to be parked right over eastern Idaho and western Wyoming for tomorrow. The jet stream is going to fall all the way south as we go into the desert southwest with chilly conditions starting to develop Utah all the way down to the four corners. And we do have the threat for snow wrapping around. But take a look at those wind speeds. Tonight through tomorrow morning, it's going to be quite gusty. Once we get here overnight, we'll see the winds actually pick up overnight. And look at that. The wind speeds just to start off your morning at 6 a.m. already into the teens and 20s. These are sustained wind speeds, not including the wind gusts, which could get in closer to 50 miles an hour. The wind advisory is going to last all day here for tomorrow, and the winds are still stuck into the teens and 20s around lunch. And we will see the winds begin to relax as we head into Wednesday. We get on the other side of the cold front. We start pulling in cold air from the north, and we have lighter winds in there for Wednesday, Thursday, and Christmas Day on Friday. It's going to be colder outside as we go through the next couple of days once we get past tomorrow. The wind advisory stretching from Ashton and St. Anthony all the way over to Boise, right along I-15 down to I-86 and I-84. That wind advisory goes from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. tomorrow. And you'll notice here as I play the Vipercast, you're going to see snow getting into central and western Idaho early tomorrow morning. But watch what happens as that front gets into the Snake River Plain. A lot of the snow evaporates and doesn't really even materialize over the valley. I mean, we still will have some snow out there, but this is not going to be a major snowstorm for the Snake River Plain. We will get some good snow showers in our local mountains out towards western Wyoming and then also in central Idaho with a few spotty snow showers in the Snake River Plain. And for tomorrow afternoon and evening, that snow still going to be plaguing areas like Star Valley, Jackson Hole, Teton Valley, Idaho, Swan Valley, Palisades, all the way up to Island Park and down through Bear Lake. For the rest of us, though, it's mostly going to be a windy, cold day outside with the occasional snow shower, and you'll notice the snowfall amounts are looking to be pretty thin outside, about an inch or less in the Snake River Plain, with some snow inches uh, getting around two to four out towards Driggs, one to two inches in Jackson. So even in higher elevations, this is mostly going to be on the slopes and not really in the valleys. 33 for the high in Soda Springs, 36 in Millette. Not much of a difference between the low and the high. Look at that, 26 tonight in Jackson with a high of tw uh, 24 tonight in Jackson, excuse me, with a high of 26. I got those numbers backwards, but yeah, uh, 24 and 26. Yeah, low, not much different from the high. 23 for Chalice, 33 for the high tomorrow, 17 tonight in Arca with high of Idaho Falls at 33, 34 for Pocatello, 37 in Pocatello, and here we go with that eight-day forecast. Notice the temperatures are dropping to the 20s for highs Wednesday, Thursday. Will be only about 30 degrees on Christmas Day itself itself with a high of 30. Then we're bringing in some snow with another storm on Saturday, and that one's going to bring in a bit of some snow, but it's still not going to be a major snowstorm. Pocatello, 37 for the high tomorrow with gusty winds, dropping down to 27 for the high on Wednesday, the high of 33 on Friday. Salmon, you got breezy conditions tomorrow. Snow in central Idaho. Central Idaho and, again, western Wyoming have the best chance to see the snow. Also places like Island Park and along the Montana state line, but it's going to be cold and quiet for Thursday and Friday before
before another storm gets in here Saturday after Christmas. Jackson, yeah, hold on to your hats. It's going to be windy in Jackson with passing snow showers and sub-zero overnight lows as we go into Wednesday night and Thursday. And then we're hitting highs around 26 Thursday afternoon, high of 29 for Christmas Day. Our John Adams, GMC Spirit of Idaho. I pulled this one in from last week just because this was a good snowstorm that we had in Island Park early in the season around November. Terry and Pocatello got this in Island Park, and I wanted to use this picture again because I want you to also, if you have any good snow photos or anything around the Christmas holiday, I know we're not looking for a lot of snow tomorrow, but if you're going to be skiing, if you're going to take the snow machines up for, for the uh, Christmas holiday, love to see the photos. Go to KIDK.com 